BD Salam tweeted about the year and is a free agent now. Mm -hmm. Let's read this. Tonight was the last team dinner of the year, which officially marks the end of our season. I end the year with a feeling of unfinished business. We had the means to go much higher. We always failed. We most expected. Despite this disappointment, I consider our year to be plus 90% positive. It was a pleasure to work with everyone. If we forget the incident in the winter, and I can assure you that we all made huge effort to go further in vain. Now it's time to accept defeat and think about next year. I will come back in more detail and stream in my overall year. And for the first time in my career, I find myself free agent in the offseason, so I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I think I think the toughest part I think the toughest part for um, for Adam, I think if he goes into an off season, he's such a weird player to place in your team. Very very strange player to place in your team, because like he he has the benching that is held over him. He has his weird champion pool. Um, it's such a weird player to place on your team. I, I feel like like Adam is going to... I, I don't know if they're going to carry on with him in BDS, which I think is unlikely. But I think Adam is the type of player that... Like, he should be a big fish in a small pond, you know? Like I, think, I think Adam would do best in a team that is not that good. Like... If he's in like the bottom three teams and he can be like an awkward top laner and he could have like more freedom to be himself, I think that would be like the best case scenario for him. Because I think when it comes to like the deeper end, the deeper end, it's like the deeper you go into the BO5s and you want to win the split, you need to, like top lane needs to be the epitome of stability, you know? Epitome of stability, epitome of, um, you know, being able to like really be in tune with the meta. And I, I think that's that's tough, you know. I I think that Adam hasn't really proven that that's what he's capable of. You know, yes, it's all of angles, you know. That is in Garden, they kind of come in and out of the meta. I think that there's been, I I think just in terms of how BDS play side and how he overgroups, like even with this Doctor Mundo or Camille, it seems like he isn't in tune with when he should be fighting and when he should be farming. And I don't know, like, just because it's been a thing with Adam for so long, I do feel more inclined to put that blame on Adam rather than the team, you know? Because this has been just, just an Adam thing for quite some time. So in my mind, I, th I think that Adam needs to be slumming it again, you know? I, I would be surprised if BDS, like, rebuild the roster and Adam is a part of that because I think the main people that you want to keep on that team and where maybe you can find improvements is uh you know jungle and top lane because i think that nuke i think it's hard to find an improvement over nuke uh, uh i think that the bot lane is fantastic um i think that's that's the angle you know that's the angle for me you know i think at some point as a player, your 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 quirkiness and your biggest strength turns also into your biggest weakness if you don't expand on it, you know? And I, I don't think it was a lack of trying. I do think that Adam played a lot of different champs, you know? And another thing, it's like we're trying, we're gonna get striker on for um the sack down because I want to ask him. It's like the benching is still for such a weird decision to me, you know. The benching is such a weird decision to me because from outside, if you bench someone before one of the most important best of fives of the year, it must have been so bad that he shouldn't be playing the next season, you know, the next split. I'm I, like, like I, I, I need some kind of like explanation to to what went down, you know. And additionally, like that, that best of five, that best of five was giga close, you know?